time in TNT. Sport Minister Shamfa Kujo tells young people that poverty is not an excuse to get involved in crime. President Paula May Weeks goes to Europe on vacation. Another tropical wave in development is being monitored and internationally, U.S. First Lady Jill Biden tests positive for COVID. And now the news in detail. Acting Police Commissioner McDonald Jacob has restricted leave for police officers in five divisions and increased working hours to address the increasing murder toll. On Monday, Jacob said the plan is to increase patrols in the division to suppress murders and allow homicide detectives to effectively address the killings. He admitted that the murder toll is concerning and that the TTPS intends to respond. He noted that while he has to be careful with his words, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service is going to respond in a relentless way. Jacob assured the public that officers will be doubling up on working hours, with some moving from 24 hours on duty with 48 hours rest to 24 hours on duty with 24 hour hours rest. He said it may be difficult on the officers, but it is necessary to respond to the increased crime rate in such a manner. TNT murder toll has reached 358 for the year thus far. Meanwhile, Sport Minister Shampo Kujo has admitted that it is scary when you read the headlines and read the statistics when it comes to crime. She said it is therefore imperative to empower men to achieve success and deter them from a life of crime and poverty. Kujo said not getting a full certificate is not the end of life and dropping out of school is not the end of the world. The minister urges young people to take advantage of programs for the youth such as MyLat and YTEP. According to Kujo, a life of crime is not based on poverty, adding that poverty is not the way of life. Kujo was delivering the feature address last week at the relaunch of the ministry's Empower TT program at Hilton Trinidad when she made the comments. In other news, President Paula May Weeks is on vacation in Europe. A statement issued on Monday by the office of the president said, Weeks left Trinidad and Tobago on Sunday and will return on August 26th. Senator President Christine Kangalu will act as president until a week's returns. The National Hurricane, Hurricane Center is monitoring a tropical wave in the far southwestern Caribbean Sea for tropical development. On its current trajectory, this system is already well west of Trinidad and Tobago and is not forecast to affect the eastern Caribbean. The NHC's 2 p.m. tropical weather outlook gave this wave a near 0% chance of development over the next 48 hours and a 20% chance of development over the next five days. There are two tropical waves well east of Trinidad and Tobago this afternoon, but the development of both waves is not expected at this time. Finally, on the international scene, U.S. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden has tested positive for COVID-19 and is experiencing mild symptoms, her spokesperson said today. The communications director told CNN that after testing negative for COVID-19 on Monday during her regular testing, the First Lady began to develop cold-like symptoms late in the evening. She tested negative again on a rapid antigen test, but a PCR test came back positive. The first lady who is double vaccinated and twice boosted is 71 years old making her the oldest sitting first lady in modern american history this is the first time she has had covid and that was the four o'clock news on the street 919 fm and online facebook and youtube on iowa tv recapping the headlines cops on leave or going on leave has it cancelled as all hands on deck to fight rising crime in tnt Sport Minister Shamfa Kujo tells young people that poverty is not an excuse to get involved in crime. President Paula May Weeks goes to Europe on vacation. Another tropical wave in development is being monitored. And internationally, U.S. First Lady Jill Biden tests positive for COVID. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas, Miss Aisha Wells, the Queen of Talk. She's up next.